Connors T. How are ye? Welcome to the Candle Tales podcast. My name is Aaron and you're going to be hearing a story from my sister. We are on episode 171 of the Candle Tales podcast. Thank you so much for listening and thanks many for the support lads on social media. Thumbs up, likes, subscriptions to the YouTube channel and of course to our Patreon supporters who've gone to Candle Tales. No, I always do that. Patreon.com forward slash Candle Tales. Thanks a million lads, it means a load. So listen, we're going to be telling the story of the Kaliak of La Crew. Strap in, have a cup of tea, chill about, whatever you want to do. This is one of our mythic places stories coming at you. Surika, tell us a story, will you? Lock Crew and the Kaliak. The Kaliak is a winter. The Kaliak is death. She is old. She is hideous. She is terrifying. Her rotted teeth. Her wrinkled, spotted, pockmarked skin. Her hair. Dry and coarse and grey. The stink of her body. The smell of rot on her breath. Her smile that shows her teeth. All crooked and tumbled and rotted. With gaps in them like an ill-tended graveyard where stones have been knocked and let fall asunder. You see them when she smiles, when she laughs, she often laughs. As horrifying as she is, there's nothing without her. She is winter, She is death, and without winter there is no spring, no summer, nothing else. And she has gifts, so many gifts to give, hidden under her hideousness, her repellent appearance. Her greatest gift is sovereignty, those who can look at the Kalyuk and take hold of their disgust and their fear and their horror at her appearance and show her real love. Those are the kings and the queens. Those are the ones who she gives her greatest gift to, her prophecy, her love in return, and sovereignty, the right to rule, the wisdom to rule the whole of the island. And to them she shows her other face. Because when she is given love, the Kailyuk becomes young. And when she is given love, her youth lasts seven times the youth of anyone else. A little love is enough to conquer death. To gentle her. To make her kind. And without love, she hardens and becomes again a reminder of all that is before us, the decay of the body, the rot of the flesh, the way that we will wither, no matter how we cling to youth and beauty. We will wither and age and fail and die as surely as winter follows summer and summer follows winter. There was a time when they say that the Kalyak, she wanted to perform a ritual. What power she would get from this ritual I do not know. Perhaps it would be youth without love, without need for anyone else. Perhaps a different kind of power. 
Perhaps she saw the summers were becoming too hot and too strong, and it was balance she was reaching for. Whatever the power she sought, the ritual was hard. For this ritual, she had to gather certain stones, and she had to leap from one hilltop to another a mile distant. And she had to place the stones that she carried in her apron and leap again before taking a breath. And four times she had to make this leap. And as the Kaliuk made her first leap, she landed on Karnbane, and she placed her stones there, the stones she carried, the stones she'd carved, and the people who came after called them cairns, but they were not cairns, they were the stones of the Kaliuk. And as she gathered her strength and leapt again, something rose up against her. With any great ritual, great forces are gathered, and those forces are difficult to tame, and these forces rose up around her now as wind, as rain, as storm. And so when she leapt again, the leap was hard, the wind buffeting her, trying to drive her off course, but the Kaliuk was strong. And so she landed again. She landed A mile away from where she started, she dropped the stones. And before taking a breath, without taking a pause, she gathered all the strength in her body and she leapt again and the wind howled at her, clawing her back. And the rain drove at her, buffeting her hair, her face, her thin skin raked by flecks of ice. And she landed again. And she made her final leap, baring her iron teeth into the wind, raising her voice in a shriek against the shriek of the storm. And the wind blew, and the hail drove, and the Kaliak slipped. She tripped. She fell. Stones tumble out of her apron, and her iron teeth, her iron bones of winter felt as brittle as chalk, and as she fell they cracked on the stones, and they shattered and they broke, and the Kaliak's neck was twisted, and she fell to her death. And her stones lay scattered. And when you climb the hill at Loch Crew, through the turnstile, up the steps to where there are no steps, up, up the steep hill, steeper than you thought, and you see behind you the countryside opening out, and you climb again, through a gap over a ridge, You can see them, the Kyliuk stones, the Kyliuk cairns, and on one of them, the Kyliuk seat. And they say she died that day and was buried. But how does death die? How can winter die? The Kyliuk seat lies open. And if I were you, I would leave it so. This podcast was produced and edited by Oshin Ryan. You can find out more about us on our website, candlelittales.ie. And we're on all social media, so like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Candlelit Tales or send us a message or get onto our mailing list. For more videos and live streams, like and subscribe to our Candlelit Tales YouTube channel, which now has a Candlelit Tales for Kids playlist. Hashtag Candlelittle Tales. Liking and subscribing to our channel really helps us grow and get to more people. And if you're able to give us more direct support, you can chip in a few bob at patreon.com forward slash Candlelit Tales or make a one-time donation through the PayPal button on our website.
We also do really like to hear back from you with your questions and requests. So please feel free to contact us directly or leave your question in the comments section below. Because what we really want to do is get these stories out there. Share them with as many people as possible. So anything you can do to help, we really appreciate. And we really appreciate you listening. Gurb Milamagat.